Hey, 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 what is happening? What is happening, everyone, everyone, everywhere? Welcome back for another edition of Internet Hustle. We're going to get your money on Internet Hustle. Going to make your money long. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back for another edition of Internet Hustle, where we what? Make money or take money on the internet, but the always honestly. Okay, y'all, so let's dive right into this video. So now what do I have popping for you guys today? So now today, I am going to be showing you guys how to set up a one-page website for all your CP, how to create, should I say, a one-page website or landing page, whichever you like to call it, because some people just call them landing pages, because they one page, so it's kind of similar to a landing page, right? So I am going to be showing you guys how to set up a one-page site for your CPA offers where we will be doing giving away PLR books. This site is going to be totally, totally dedicated to CPA offers using content locker, URL lockers, and giving away free ebook, PLR ebook downloads. Okay, so uh, first thing you want to do is you need to go to sites.google.com or you can just type in Google Sites. It'll pop up. It's usually the first one on the top of the list. Okay, and when we get here, you just want to simply come over here. They got different templates. As you can see, these are some of my other sites that I created, all dedicated to my CPA offers. Okay, but we want to go right here to a link canvas okay and once inside now right here I'm going to be deleting this because I'm going to put something in here let me give this a minute to stop buffering okay there it goes unsure where to begin blah 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 okay so anyway once inside the first thing I like to do is I'm going to get rid of this because I have an image that I want to upload so if I was to come right here to change image I can go to upload or I can go to select image. Now, if we can click on select image, what will happen is that it will take us into Google search. See, Google has its own search engine integrated into their sites. Okay. We can search something on Google, which will be copywritten free. So we don't have to worry about any copyright infringements or anything like that. Google's got that all worked out and figured out for us. But since I already have my image inside my folders, I'm going to just click on upload image. I'm going to go straight into my folders, snatch my image, upload it. And one, two, three, three to two, one. There we go. So this is the image that I selected because... We're dealing with books, right? So what better be fitting image than a library shelf of books? Okay, so now let's go. Now if we come right here to header, we can click on header. You can change this header. We can do a cover header, which makes it really, really big. I think that's really too big. We can do a large banner, which is not too big, but uh, nah, I always like to go with banner. That's just me. I like to always go with the banner. Okay? But then I'm thinking large banner does kind of look cool because it gives us a more overview of the books. Okay? And, um... Duh, 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 duh. Nope, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stick with banner. We can do title only, but since I don't have a title, okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay? I'm just going to leave it like that on banner. You be the one to choose what, which one you like best for your site okay and next thing we want to do is i'm going to come up here to the top and hover over the top here right here where it says add logo add logo okay let's go right here and for this one for the adding a logo i think that i am going to go straight over here into google and i'm going to find a book logo png and don't forget guys i am the one hand typer so please do not judge me and be patient with me thank you and so once you got your logo just simply come right here click upload and let's find that logo that we just grabbed okay and i got it right here i'm gonna snatch that i'm gonna open that up and there goes our logo okay so now what else can we do in here 
Now, see the logo disappear right there? Looks pretty cool, okay? So now, next thing we can do when you're inside the settings for your logo, you can also scroll down here. This is something that I like to do. Well, first, let's scroll down over on this side. And we can also upload a favicon. Now, what is a favicon? You know how when you go into certain websites, there's always their little logo at the top? Like, you see how this one has its little logo? Pinterest has its little logo. They even have their little logo here, okay? Even though it's not even really anything. But I'm going to come and I'm going to upload the same little book logo that we just downloaded to our computers, okay? And come right in here, snatch that logo, open it up, and there it goes. Now, the next time, once we're been done and someone goes to our web address, their logo is going to be right at the top in the tab. Okay, so now, um, alt text, I really don't mess with that. So that's pretty much it for over here. Now, another thing that I do like to do is over here, here where it says announcement bar, click on announcement bar. This banner is displayed above your site. That's like going to be a strip that's going to go right across the site. Now, I like to do this because it kind of gives the site a whole new effect and makes it kind of pop, makes it even look a little more professional too. So let's go ahead and turn that on by clicking show banner. Okay, banner color. Now, right, click right here. We can click a banner color. I like to always pick red because red stands out the best, like I said before. And I'm just going to put the message in here, and I'm going to say free, free, point 99, free 99, ebook, ebooks, okay? Free 99 ebooks. Let's put the little dash right there. Okay. Um, and then let's say, uh, let's say, limited uh, supply. Okay. Limited supply. Grab yours today. Okay, that's it. E free uh free ninety-nine ebooks. Okay, limited supply. Grab yours today. Okay, and the rest of this yeah, come down here, it's gonna be visible on all pages. Home page only. Well, since we only got one page, but we'll just keep it on all pages. Now, this doesn't have to be a one page website, but we're creating a one page website. If you wanted to create an actual working in and out different rooms, different pages website, you could do that by coming right here to pages. I'm not going to go over that right now with you guys, but I just want to let you know you can do that. Okay, so now let's see. What does it say here? Viewer tools. Infocon, this site, Infocon, is the lower left of your published site, shows page specific details, site viewers may click or hover over the icon, okay, we don't need to read all that, so that's it, now there goes our banner, see that, free 99 ebook limited supply, grab yours today, okay, so boom, that's cool. Now we can come on down. I keep going to that side when it's really over here. It always confuses me because you got the two tabs over there. So now let's come on down and let's start to create this bad boy real quick. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to pick something from right over here. And I'm going to click right here. Okay, so I picked the three. I picked the three, and so the reason why I picked the three is because we're going to make this site very, very simple because it, does, it doesn't have to be a lot. It just has to display and relay to the people what it is they're getting. You understand what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and let's move through this, and let's click right here. Now, once you click right here, we have a couple of things we can do. We can upload from the PC like we did with the banner and the logo we can upload from our PC and our folders or we can select the image that will take us back to that Google display that I showed you guys before uh, 
or we can upload from our drive. You can upload from even YouTube, which is always pretty cool. I like the YouTube part sometimes, depending on what kind of site I'm doing. Okay, we can upload a calendar. We can upload a map. In this case, I'm going to upload from my... Okay, so this is the cover to one of my books. Okay, now I'm going to open this up just a little bit more. Oh, okay, I didn't even realize you could do that. Well, you can click right on the image, and this little box opens up. We can select the same things, the same selections, but that's kind of cool. We got a little toggle wheel or whatever you call it going on, but I don't need that. I'm just going to come and click and drag this down a little bit. Let's drag it down a little bit. Open this book up. Open it up. Open it up. Open it up. And there we go. Let me scroll down so I can see a little better. Okay. So now, I know you guys are seeing where it says click here, right? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. So check this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to where I get most of my PLR books, okay? And I think that this is one of the best besides ID, what is it, ID PLR? I believe it's ID PLR. But ID PLR, they have a free account, but... They don't give you PLR books. They don't give you PLR books. They only give you really three unrestricted PLR books with a free account. After that, every other book is usually M, um, MRR, Master Resale Rights, and we don't want that. So, uh, free download, uh, download free PLR, that site, they have the best content if you ask me. So... I'm going to show you guys in one second why I have this click here button, this click here tab on my cover design for the book. Okay, but in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to go right here and I'm going to quit. I'm going to click on download. Uh, let's see, download. Uh, 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 uh. It usually be inside of here, but it's not. Download free. Uh, here it is right here free okay it's free PLR downloads okay my bad my bad my bad so we're gonna go to that okay so my bad guys I had the wrong site but this too free PLR download is another good one they have some really good books too and they are widely used but but I mostly go to free PLR downloads okay that's where I got this book from so I'm gonna come right here to search and I'm gonna type in Okay. And as you can see, it's already beginning to search. And the reason why I'm going straight to that book is because I'm going to take the description straight from that book. And then I'm going to take a few pages of the table of contents. Well, wait a minute. I don't think I can do that from here. I will have to go into a, uh, what you call... I would have to open it up and go into the table of contents. And I don't want to do all that, but I would suggest that when you all set up your page, what you do, because Internet Explorer has a built-in PDF reader, I would suggest you guys open up your book inside of, inside of Edge once you download it. Oh, pick a book according to your niche, your niches. People always say niche, like we can't have more than one. You, you have more than one like. You don't just like one flavor ice cream. You don't just like one color. You don't just like one genre of music. So therefore, you can have multiple niches because we as human beings like a plethora of things. So the, that's why I'm always trying to figure out why do people always say that. Okay, come on, speed it up, speed it up. So anyway, what we can do is I suggest that you all go ahead when you download your book. Uh, there it is right there. I said how to acquire, acquire a mindset of wealth. Oh, this one must be new. I'm going to have to grab that one. And it's not that old. This is just last year's summer. Okay, so we talking about exactly a year ago. Okay, so you always want to try to find books that are no older than 2020. Okay, I always look for books no older than 2020. You don't want to go back... 18, 17, and definitely don't go back past 17, okay? So now let's go ahead and click on the book. And once you click on the book, and once you and once the book loads up, all you need to do is scroll all the way to the bottom. 
This is what we want right here. We want to snatch this description. Contains 131 pages, 7, 7, 71,000 words, 365 words. Right click on it, copy it, come right back over here to our site. I know we don't see, uh, oh, I didn't even name the site yet. Okay, well, we'll do that in one second. And right over here, right here where it says click to edit, you want to click in that spot. And you want to right click and you want to simply paste those words in there. Okay? And that's what you want to do, ladies and gentlemen. We want to do that for each one of your books. If you have more than three books, right now I'm just going to be doing three books for this site. Okay? So, now, let's talk about over here. It says click here. So, uh, if a person was to click on this object, right now we don't see the hand. Which indicates that this is not clickable, right? We can still just pretty much uh, alter this, okay? So we want to make this clickable, right? How would you make this clickable? Now, over here in my notes, I have all my links. So inside of my notes, I have all my links. Now, if I come over here, as you can see, I have Media Fire. I have all the links for all my books, okay? Um, so right now I'm using, what am I using? What am I using? What am I using? Where's the book? Where's the book? Where's the book? Okay. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to grab the link and we're going to attach it to that book. And once I grab my link for this book, I have to come over here, click on the image, click on the image. Let's click it again. Okay. And right here at the top, we see we can crop the image, we can uh, uncrop it, and we went right here, we can uh, add a link. So let's click right here where it says add a link. I'm going to right click right there where it says link. I'm going to simply paste my link right there. Look where it says just paste it. Now, just paste it. I have to do a follow up video to this because I'm not going to make this one too much longer. I'm going to do a follow up video to this where I'm going to, it will be right behind this one. And I'm going to show you guys all about how to use just paste it to get links for our books, our PLR books for our CPA office. Okay. So after you put it there, simply click apply. Okay, and now even though we don't see the hand, that's because we're in uh, edit mode. We're not on the actual site yet. We didn't publish it yet, right? So, boom, once we do that, now we can come up out of that. And now if we come down, we see we got our book cover right here. Okay, uh, and as you see, we just saw that the link is in there. Okay, and we got our book cover and we got a short description of the book. Now, if you have the book, what you can do is you can open it up inside of Internet Explorer, like I told you, because they have a built-in PDF reader. Go inside your book and take a few snippets of the contents, the table of contents of the book, and right here where it says uh, 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 click to edit, you can put a few snippets of the table of contents in the book just to give people a broader idea of what they're going to get inside the book but this is actually just good enough this is good enough right here that small description that we took from off the PLR site so right here what I'm going to put where it says click to edit I'm simply going to put I'm simply going to put right here uh, let's see I'm going to put click Hold up, I got it on caps, take caps off. I'm simply gonna put click. Click. Nope. Wait a minute. Hold on, what's going on? I had the caps off already. I'm bugging out. Click the book cover to download click the book cover to download now if we highlight this we can come right here and we can simply change the font and I'm just gonna click on font and I'm gonna simply scroll down and I am going to simply pick impact okay and now we can change the size I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger let's highlight it again let's click on the size Let's make it about uh, 18. Okay, 18 is cool. And right here we can make it bold, but it's already bold. 
We can make it italic, italicized, italic, italic. Uh, we can underline it if we want to. Um, we can pick a different text color. I'm going to pick red. So let's go with red. Okay. Red looks good. You can put a link right there too if you want to. If you want to, you can put another link right there. Okay. The same link, we can put it right there. Okay. So that way they have no, they can't miss it. Okay. We can put the little, uh, we can center it. It's already centered. Okay. Align. Okay. That's already centered. That's cool. Uh, we can put the one, two, threes. If you needed that, you can put the dots, the bullet dots. Um, come right here to more. Um, basically, that's all I would do. Okay, so once you've done all that, now you want to repeat that same thing. The same cycle, you want to repeat that, okay? And you want to come right here to where it says click to edit. Okay, let's come right here. Let's upload another cover of mine. So one thing I want to do real quick, guys, is we want to add a little emoji right here, right? We want to add a little emoji because we want to make it, we want to spruce it up. Kind of make them feel like they're getting something, you know, like, yeah, we're getting the prize, you know what I mean? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a little box up there. I'm going to throw a little, you know what I'm saying, a little something up there just to kind of make them feel like they're getting something, you know what I mean? And then I'm just going to come right here, and I'm just going to paste that right there, okay? I'm going to do the same thing right here. And that just makes it look a little more catchy, okay? So now, coming back up here, we just entered our second book cover, right? And this to, this is basically a simple repeat process, guys. Now, the main thing to all of this is how do you get the link? To get the link, okay? So now, let me see. Let's come right here again. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I just messed up because I copied that. So I got to come back over here. I got to copy this again. Come back over here to our site. And now, let's go right click. Now, let's paste that in there. Just like we did before. Same old thing. Same process, right? Leave a little book description so that they know what they're getting. And then, for down here, I can click right here. And I can come right over here. And I can snatch this whole thing. I can right click. And I can copy that. And I can come right back over here. And I can right click and I can paste that right in there. So it's basically the same process, okay, guys? So this way, when you are putting your link, because we're going to be putting this link to this site once it's published, what we're going to do is we're going to put the link to this site onto our Pinterest or whatever platform you use. And Pinterest is one of the better. When you create one of your Pinterest, uh, uh, idea pins okay always do the idea pin idea the idea pin is the one that pinterest tends to promote and push the most than just regular pins why i'm not really sure but they love idea pins so, so when you create your pin or when you create your pinterest account if you don't already have one and right there in your profile where you can leave your website you're going to leave your website for your link tree if you don't already have a link tree then get on down over to Linktree and create yourself a free 99 Linktree account where you can leave a plethora of links. You can leave your your uh, your Warrior Plus links, your ClickBank links, your JVZoo link, your your um, Digi24 store links, and you can also leave the links to your Google sites so that that way when people go to your pins and then they go to your link in your in your bio. Because you're going to always put on your pins link in bio, okay? When they go to your bio and they go to your link, they go to your link tree store inside your store. Is also going to be the links to your Google sites where they can download these free books that you're offering them. And in order to download these free books, now they have to, like, for instance, let me show you guys this real quick before I get up out of here. Now, when they come to your finished, once you're finished with your Google site, when they come to your site, right, and they go to your your image that says click here, and they click on that image, like for, in for instance right now, I click on the image, and it directs me straight to my content locker. And then when the person goes to your content locker and they click begin download, they have to now do... These, uh, what you gonna call it, CPA offers. They gotta do these offers in, in order for them, after completion, this res after completion, this resource will be unlocked. 
So you have to come do these offers, which adds up to five dollars. Okay, two of these offers is about two and change, and another one of these offers is about a dollar and change. So this is like almost six dollars right here alone. Okay, but in order to get this book. They have to complete these offers and then that opens it up for them to go ahead and download the book. Okay? Okay. So now, how do you get a download link for your book? Well, how did I do that? I use uh, Mega. You can use Mega. I have Mega on my PC. I also have a uh, Mediafire account. You can use Mega or you can use Mediafire. Now, you can use Mega or Mediafire. And when you use Mega or Mediafire, what can happen is you will get a link once you upload the book, the PDF book to Mega or Mediafire. You will get a link. That link, you now have to take that link and you're going to use that link and put that link on your content your content locker using CPA grip or or, or, or or CPA leads or whatever CPA platform you're going to use okay and then once you do that what you have to do in order to get a link for your photo for your Google site you need to use a site known as just paste it so now once you go to just paste it just paste it but it's actually just paste dot it okay but we just call it just paste it so once you go to just paste dot it you can create create yourself an account if you don't already have one and once you go there all you got to simply do is now uh blah 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 come on come on come on come on what am i doing what am i doing you want to come here to where it says add note you click on add right there and let this box open up okay and what we can do from here is we can give it a title, okay, and we can say um, something like ebooks. Let's just say ebooks, okay. I'm just doing this for the sake of this video, so we can say like ebooks for our title, and then over here we can drag and drop an image. You can click right there. We'll click right there since I don't have an image. Um, no, actually I do have one loaded up. So wait a minute, I can just take this. Uh, okay, well this already opened up, so oh well. But anyway, I can just take this this bookshelf. Let's say I want to take this and just drop it right there, right? The image that we just downloaded from my bookshelf from my from my Google sites. Okay, I'm talking real fast right now, y'all. Keep up with me. I hope can you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so now, boom, here we go. We got an image right here. Okay, so now what we want to do once you do that is now you can come right here. Okay, check it out. You can come right here at the top, at the very top. Now, if we had some text, you can use all of this stuff for your text. Bold your text, italic, underline your text, pick the color for your text. But we don't have any text. We just have an image. So what you would do is, after you do all of that, you would simply come right here to the top. And with your image, make sure your image is selected. Your whole thing is selected. Come right here to the top. Click on this right here insert a link now the link that you need to insert here is not going to be the media file because remember the media file or the mega where you got your link from for your pdf for your book that is attached to your content locker so what you have to put here is your content locker file link right so that's when you will get your content locker file link and you will put that right here and you will simply click save. You will click save and once you click save, you will click publish and once you publish it and it takes you to the publish page, page, you come up here to your um, uh, uh, web browser address and you right click, highlight that and you copy that, save that to your folder or wherever, somewhere on your PC or your phone that you can remember it. And that is the same link that that will be the link that you are now going to attach to the image here. So when people come to this site, they click on the image, it takes them to the what? The content locker.